Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Drop. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop, and this Sunday is Mother's Day. Mother's so, of course, we have to Mother's shout out all the moms out there, especially this one mom. She's a little special. She was texting a 35-year-old man thinking it was her daughter, and the most hilarious text conversation ensued. The man from a mansion in Wisconsin named Velaxkin posted this hilarious text conversation. Honey, please grab milk and lunch meat on your way home. I'm pretty sure you have the wrong number. I'm already at home. Stop playing. And can you go back to the store? Okay, but seriously, you have the wrong number. I'm not going to the store for you. Jess, I need you to grab that or I am not taking you and Brad to the movies tonight. Milk, turkey, and ham. Now that was a simple enough mistake. Right. And the mom still wasn't getting it, even after the guy posted a picture of him and his wife. This is me and my wife. Your husband is gonna be so mad about not having any lunch meat. Jess, please grab that stuff for your father. I am not joking and I will cancel the movie tonight. Pick a number between one and 10. Who is that? Brad's family? I am calling his parents if you keep this up. Oh my God, no. Okay, so you would think, yes, yeah, saw the picture. This is not my daughter, but that's not what the mother does. So hilarious. My wife is actually on the way to the store now because we need bread. Is there anything you would like her to pick up for you? Are you on drugs again? Your ass is out of our home. If so, you are not bringing that stuff around your sister. <laughs> LOL, no. I've been clean since 2011. Sorta. But that's really none of your business. I'm your mother and this isn't funny. You were 11 in 2011, Jess. We are having a long talk tonight. No, I've been clean since 2011. I started doing drugs and drinking hard in 2000 and 2001. And FYI, just so you know, I stopped believing this was real a while ago. I'm sure this is someone I know trying to f with me, but I don't have anything going on, so I'm going to keep this up. The texts are a little bit out of order. You are a jerk and I left work and went home to find my daughter sleeping. I now see I had the wrong number. My husband was worried and the food obviously never got there. You. So after all of that, she's mad at the guy because she had the wrong number. And he tried to tell her. He told her so many times this text conversation is super long. He tried to tell, I don't understand. First of all, why is your daughter's name not saved in your phone? You no. Just type her name in the text message. You don't have Before to put, that. don't type the phone number in. What? Why is this girl on drugs? <laughs> what? What's happening? What Jess, is happening in this Jess, house? Just get your stuff together. Your mom is worried about you and you was just at home sleeping. I, I just, I don't even know what's happening. It's, uh, in 2011, she was 11. It's six years later, 2006, so she's what? 17? And she was already on, okay, you know what? Get a handle on this shit, America. <laughs> get a handle on this shit right now! And you would think with all that, that it's finally over. Psych, it's not. He kept the petty going. So, can Brad and I still go to the movies tonight? Eat <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my, how is this lady mad? She should've just been so apologetic. Like, I am so sorry. I don't know what is wrong with me. I... She, did, she did mention that her mother died last week, so she probably is a little off, but yes. still. Ma'am, save your daughter's name Listen, in your phone. <laughs> I would save her number, I tell you that, and I would hit her up and do the Stewie Griffin. Mom, mom, mommy, mommy. Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> All right, squad, so we want to hear from you. What's the funniest conversation you've had with your mom via text? Post it in the comments below. And you know what time it is. It's, it's the, the comment of the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God. It comes from yesterday's episode about Steve Harvey sending this ridiculous memo to his staff, and it goes to King David who says, did Seti and LaVita Alizé Jenkins Robinson have these rules when they shared an apartment? Oh my gosh, King David, you the real MVP. <sighs> if you guys don't know where this is from, you need to grow up. It's yeah. from, it's from the, the Steve Harvey show back then. This the is hilarious. Steve Harvey show. You the real MVP, we see you fam. LaVita Alizé Jenkins. Man. We see you fam. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to All That Digital. I'm Meg Scoop. And up to hear more, we'll see you next week on The Drop. Peace out. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, get your milk and turkey and a ham from the text message that your mama asked you to get. What? She did. She asked for it. <laughs>